a lot of trees down, folks. And the reason for that is because the, the, the rock is, uh, let's just say the dirt is very shallow on top of this rock. So the root system for the trees doesn't get to go very deep. So a windstorm will blow down trees such as that. So we'll have a lot of trees that, that do tend to fall. Now up on the left, you guys, the first car will be coming by in a minute. Uh, there's a rock formation on the left, and somebody's painted uh, acid rock on it. Somebody did. Anyway, that's where they stored the dynamite for the blasting, uh, the quarry, granted. And it's off the left. Your first car should be going by it now. Big rock formation. The top's gone now, but in the old days, that's where they stored the dynamite. Of course, there's none there now, luckily. <laughs> And you'll see some old mine tracks there on the left there. You see the old tracks in the woods there? Yeah, that's from the old railroad. And there's acid rock. There you go. And there we're coming by. That's acid rock where they used to store the dynamite. Now we're getting ready to come into the railroad shop. You'll blow the horn to let everybody know we're coming through. It's a great deal of history here and uh, some uh, very, very old buildings. We'll tell you about it when we get there in just a second. Navy engine is 117 and a half tons of locomotive. That's a small one, 117 and a half tons. It was built in 1953. It ran on the C&O Railroad. And we purchased it in 1986 off a scrap pile. We rebuilt it and brought it here. The engine inside the shop is 6147. It's the sister engine to 6143 that you ride behind. That is an FP3. I'm sorry, FP7 that we're riding behind. FP7, built in 1950. And you'll see a motor car in the shop there if you look. Or that's our inspection car. And there's the all-important cookout grill. When we're going to be here long hours, I'll fire up the grill and cook out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's what your conductor wants me to do. We'll do it. <laughs> now look at the bars on the side of the building. See that on the right? It used to be a prison camp. The hardened prisoners were kept downstairs and bars. And uh, it became a prison camp in the 30s and 40s. And uh, they kept the hard prisoners here to do the work. A lot of work, guys, with the mining. It also was the foreman's office. That was built in 1865. The set on the left is where we do our uh, little shows throughout the year. They're setting up for the holiday show. And, of course, Pumpkin Festival's going on, and you'll hear about that next trip. That car to the left over there behind that building... That was the president of the Nickel Plate Railroad, NKMP Railroad's car. It's been here forever. We'd like to restore it. Maybe someday we will receive the funds so we can. The building on the left is the Lacey Hotel, and it is uh, where they had dinner and they do laundry down low. And the schoolhouse is to the right. There's even an old baptismal in there. Here's a storage uh, shack on the left of the cars. And the cars you're riding in are old flat cars from the 1930s, 40s, 50s, and they've been converted to um, passenger cars. The one you're riding on the front is a brand new one. Let's see, I finished it in June this past year. Here's some old uh, Long Island cars on the left that we're hoping to restore. Here's a big Christmas. And this curve, by the way, if you see the movie Fried Green Tomatoes, this is the curve where Gigi was throwing out the cans out of the car. We filmed that scene here from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. a number of years ago, right here. This is the Quarry Museum to the left. If you get a chance, folks, um, Come over and drive around the back side of the mountain. There's a parking lot to the right. You get a good view of the mountain from this side. And 
And uh, we're going to go over a big bridge in a minute. And underneath, you can see the walkways of the museum. And there's some nice history facts there. If you get a walking around, and you park out here on the right. Hey, guys. All right, you folks in the front car are getting ready to go over the huge bridge. You probably have to hold up your hands. This bridge is really long, guys. It's really long. I hope you make it okay. It's six feet long. <laughs> All right, front car. Hands up. Here we go. Set car. Here we go. Going over. Oh, oh, the bridge. Here we go. Third car. Hands up. Yeah. Fourth car. Last car. Here we go. Ready? Up. Hands up. Wow, that was something. <laughs> All right, look ahead. If you're used to riding a roller coaster, Look at the front car. Look at the engine. You'll see it start going downhill in a minute. You're still going uphill. Just watch. There it goes. See it start to go downhill? It's almost like being a roller coaster. We're going down 4% grade here, which is very steep. That's four feet down per 100 feet traveled forward. That's how you figure out your percentages. Now, we're all going down. This is called the hollow block. There are so many trees here, and uh, during the years, it's just grown up so much here. And folks, I know you've studied in your classes about erosion, wind erosion, water erosion. Well, the wind and water come away at that mountain. Now, I've been here since 1958, and I can see the face of it changing. is the only 
monument in the world dedicated to Confederate generals. That's in the world, y'all. In the world. Alright. Yes, that is real snow. It just dropped right there. It was like one day, it was like a huge cloud came. It just stopped, boom, and it just kept going. So, that's what happened. No, actually, there's an ice machine. It's like a huge 